simplify let us simplify this this is not easy but it is easy so we're asked to simplify this radical um, expression okay first let us start from the innermost part okay let us simplify roots 63 okay because you know that uh, 63 what can divide 63 is 3 right when 3 divides 63 we have 21 3 we divide again and we have 7 so at this point only 7 will go and we have 1 so in a simplified way we can write this as sorry my ink is overflowing so in a simplified way we can say that root 63 is 3 times 3 which is 9 9 times 7 okay so that is how we are going to represent 63 now so we have square root of 8 minus square root of 9 multiplied by 7 okay so note that when you have square root of a multiplied by b that it is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b so we can write um, this as square root of 8 minus square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 7. So we have the square root of 8 minus 3 root 7. All right. Now, note that we can still write this as square root of 1 multiplied by 8 minus 3 root 7 okay note that 1 1 can be anything it can be 1 over 1 2 over 2 3 over 3 and so on and so forth therefore i can write this as the square root of 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 8 minus 3 root 2. Root 7, sorry. Okay. So this is equal to the square root of 2 brackets 8 minus 3 root 7. Everything divided by 2. I've not changed anything, right? So this is equal to the square root of, let's open the brackets, 2 times 8 is 16. So we have 16 minus 2 times 3 is 6. Or let's leave it as 2 times 3. It's for a purpose. 2 multiplied by 3 root 7. Everything divided by 2. Please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time. You have seen this lovely channel okay always know that you're convenient there must be something new for you to watch and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you very much so at this point we have that this is equal to the square root of now 16 i want to separate 16 in such a way that i'm going to get a perfect square from 16 and a non-perfect square okay so if you check you can see that 9 and 7 if you add them together you get 16 and 9 is a perfect square but 7 is not a perfect square so that is a perfect combo here so i'll write 16 as 9 plus 7 okay minus 2 multiplied by 3 root 7 everything divided by 2 so this is equal to the square root of now 9 we can write 9 as 3 squared plus 7 can be written as square root of 7 squared right because square root of x squared is equal to x okay square root of x squared is equal to x all right so we can write 7 as square root of 7 squared. Now, minus 2 multiplied by 3 root 7 divided by the same thing here. We can write 2 as 
square root of 2 squared. So this is equal to, we have the square root of, at this point, I want us to look at the numerator of this fraction. When you look at the numerator of this fraction, then you are going to notice something. Remember that, let me clean this first before I say what I want to say. <laughs> remember, remember that a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to a minus b all squared. Okay? Now, if you look at this, you can see that our a here is 3, our b is root 7. You can see that, right? So, that means that we can write this as 3 minus root 7. Right? Okay. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright. So, we have this to be equal to the square root of 3 minus root 7 squared divided by root 2 squared. Okay. Now, remember that when you have... Are you enjoying this? Okay. Now, remember that when you have a squared divided by b squared, you can write this as a divided by b all squared. Okay? So, that means that we can write this as the square root of 3 minus root 7 divided by root 2 all squared. Okay? Alright. Now, you know that square always cancels out your square root sign. So, what we have here left is 3 minus root 7 divided by root 2. But in mathematics, it is not right, except you are asked to, to have a denominator that is a sort. So we must rationalize to remove this denominator to make it a rational number. Okay? And to rationalize, to rationalize, we are going to multiply and divide by the denominator. So we multiply by root 2 and divide by root 2. Okay? All right. So this becomes root 2 multiplied by 3 minus root 7. Divided by root 2 my multiplied by root 2. Root 2 multiplied by root 2. Now remember that... Remember... That's root x, square root of x multiplied by square root of x is equal to x, okay? So that means we can write this as square root of 2 multiplied by 3 minus root 7 divided by 2, okay? All right, now this is okay. This is okay, but you can still open this bracket and say that this is equal to root 2 times 3 is 3 root 2 minus root 2 times root 7 divided by 2. And this will give us 3 root 2 minus root 2 times 7 is 14 divided by 2. So this is also correct okay thank you so much for watching see you in my next video